A man charged in the first Columbus homicide of 2018 will face a judge tomorrow. Sean Newman is charged with murder in the shooting of his wife, Ashley Newman. Columbus police say it happened late on New Year's Eve and that Ashley Newman died minutes into the new year. Sean Newman was arrested after crashing his car on I-270. Columbus police posted a picture of the victim, Ashley Newman, on its Facebook page. Now, in the post, police say that this year will, they will post pictures of homicide victims uh, uh, like they do homicide suspects. NBC4's Rob Sneed joins us live from Columbus Police Headquarters. And Rob, why are police <coughs> doing this tonight? <coughs> Well, they're doing this because they say they want to make sure homicide victims aren't forgotten. Now, I spoke with the woman uh, earlier today. She tells me she's been doing this for years on Facebook, and she thinks this is a great thing. Columbus Police is sending out a strong message for 2018. Lives lost are never forgotten. The department posted this message on its Facebook page, stating from now on it will post pictures of homicide victims. You see it, then you know they exist. You don't have your blinders on, so everybody de deserves to be remembered. Like, it shouldn't be about what they done or how they done it or anything like that. That doesn't matter. Kendra Brown has felt this way for a while. About two years ago, she started the Columbus, Ohio Remembrance Facebook page that two honors people who have died or are victims of homicide in the city. It's sad because, for one, I have a, a son that's almost 17. There's a lot of young, young people being killed. And that's unsettling. She's uh, hopeful things, this uh, year homicide numbers to, will fall and commend CPD's efforts. Keep striving to make our streets safer and just do what you can to, to protect everyone in our families. And Brown tells me her page has more than 20,000 followers. Live at CPD headquarters, Rob Sneed, NBC4. All righty, thanks so much, Rob.